Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we're actually home with the 435. Got my backpack on, I'm about to head down to the shop. Got the 128 over there. We're actually gonna be jumping in the 128, so we're gonna be doing a few things to that at the shop. We're also putting in Wi-Fi. So I just picked up a new modem, a new router, all that good stuff. About to go hook that up at the shop. I think we're gonna be setting up our tables, make the place a little bit more homey. So let's go pack some things into the 128. I wanna slap some hashtags, save a BMW decals on these cars. And then we're just gonna clean up this place a little bit, and then we're gonna head straight out to the shop because we gotta get there. I gotta, I think I got the Levi at 12. It's already 11.27, we gotta go. Before we get into today's video, this is Nor in the future. Just want to mention that this is a sponsored video by VPAC. So you guys know me, I normally use Carly, but Carly isn't the most affordable thing. I think the, I think the app is about $60 yearly, and then the adapter itself is about $80. So that, you know, adds up to about $140. I personally recommend that adapter to everybody, but this is a lot cheaper for those of you guys who are getting into BMWs and it really can't drop $140 because some legitimate reason then you guys can always go with these type of code readers I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this thing can do quite a bit so unlike a lot of cheap code readers at this price range I think this is at $45 this is really cheap on Amazon it actually reads and erases code so a lot of these cheaper code readers do not actually erase code so this one does it has its own library so it'll tell you the issues they can check the health of your battery which I don't know if Carly can do I know you can code your battery but I don't know about the health whether it's like good or bad so this is claiming that it can and the last thing is the IMD readiness, which Carly still can't do. So the IMD readiness is one of the reasons why I have one of these always with me as well. And that's for those of you guys who purchased the car and it won't pass smog. This will actually tell you if your systems are ready and if it will pass smog or not. Yeah, so with these type of scanners, honestly, the, the thing I love about them is the fact that it actually tells you if you can pass smog or not. That's like the main thing for me. The fact that it reads codes, deletes codes, and checks your battery health is big pluses, especially considering the price point. So yeah, I would check it out. When I'm making my primary code reader for a BMW, probably not Carly is probably my favorite one but for an entry level code reader you really can't beat this this does pretty much everything else anyways let's get back to the video all right guys so pretty much got everything cleaned up it just needs to get vacuumed out um, for the most part I got everything out that stuff I'm gonna have to bring the x5 to get it the jack I'm gonna end up taking but yeah for the most part this is pretty much all cleaned up I'm gonna start back up the floor and do all that stuff later tonight when I get back home. I'm on a strict deadline. I gotta get to the shop right now. Let me just get the jack. All right guys, we are heading out to the shop right now. I'll catch you guys uh, right after I get some gas and then we're heading straight to the shop. I'm running a little bit late, so we gotta get there ASAP. We're trying to get them Wi-Fi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LABB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah, state your name, big bin dope on flame, I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again. Alright guys, finally pulling up, the guys, the guys already been here for like 15-20 minutes, so uh, let's just hurry up and give them the modem and everything so we're good to go. Also looks like Austin's here, interesting. Alright guys, just got here. This is Austin's car. I think they're putting on the coilovers right now, so. Damn, guys, this diffuser is just mad. Probably one of my favorites. Oh my lord. We got the rears done. Rears are done? Yeah. Look, it's Dang. Look, it's Devon's car. Lamb, though. When the car's on the it's Devon's car. Time, yeah. Really? It's so this is actually higher right now? Oh, yeah. This already looks low. No, man, that's high. Wait, where is it? Dang. All right, what brand is this? This is Reaction. It's a new company, right? Yeah, it's a pretty new company. They make literally clothes for every single car. That looks sick. It rides super well. Got the camera plates on top. Like, it's Dang. super well built. The anodized orange on there. I actually really like the design. I do like, too. Honestly, that looks it sick. It goes together really well. Black is like subtle, but yeah. then you have like a little bit of accents, which I think is dope. Which you will be seeing, guys. I mean, that's stuff you do notice. I think, yeah, you can even see like right there. It just looks yeah. pretty sick. What? Guys, <laughs> what the? <laughs> Look at the rear. <laughs> what is going on, guys? I mean, he, he couldn't get lower, so he just popped the wheel. <laughs> now he's low. <laughs> this is sick. I wonder how it rides, dude. That's my question. Yeah, we'll see that. I wonder, I wonder if it's going to be super bouncy. I heard they're pretty good. Really? Honestly, I looked at reviews. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and start unloading all this stuff because uh, you know, I'm just having a lot of drag. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to push 850 horsepower. All this stuff is just holding me back to like 200. So let's go ahead and get all that out. Let's just 
got some things organized. I'm gonna go ahead and take the thumbnail real quick, and then we're gonna actually start wrapping this car. Uh, just the roof for now. I do have wrap coming in for the whole car, but there is some things I wanna do to the body before I actually start wrapping the rest of the car. So for now, guys, let's get the car inside, clean up a little bit, wrap the roof, and even put on some decals. And so I know I just got here, but we're actually gonna head out down to Pick and Pool. They just got an E90 in for my brother's car. So we're gonna go check it out, and hopefully get some parts for uh, my brother's car, because you guys can see, it's, uh, it's looking pretty naked back there. So we are officially here, got my tools. Let's go in there and check out those E90 for my brother. If not, we'll just get something to eat. I know they have Pluto's around here. I don't know if you guys know what Pluto's is, but I love it. Basically a salad place. So it's a win-win healthy, but super good. Yeah, this is what a junkyard looks like. Yep. So it should be around here somewhere. Okay, people are starting to take stripping cars to the next level. Look at this. Like, take the whole damn cup holder. And this one doesn't even work, unfortunately. And they took the radio out, but I found it in the engine bay, but it has oil, like, on it. So I don't know. I just don't know anymore. That's the main, one of the main things I came here for. So unfortunately, they didn't have anything. That's fine. I wasn't really expecting to score or anything like that. I just figured I might as well look. Thing is, if we needed doors or anything like that, it would have been a good car. It had black trim, but the doors wouldn't open. Some of them were jammed. I don't know why. Most of the front end pieces that I needed were gone. The, the side skirt clips that I needed were gone. The radio had oil in it it looks like he took it out and then he like dropped it on the ground or whatever and he dumped oil on it so i don't know what happened there so unfortunately it's all right anyways i'm about to get something to eat because i'm honestly starving so that's why i'm like my mood's kind of like down right now i think it's because i need to get something to eat so let's go get something to eat i'm literally starving guys something i've realized also about light is if you are down if something's bringing you down just know the only the only thing that's going to bring you back up is your is your mindset like if you're going to let yourself be down you're going to be down if you just think positively like just think if you're positive more positive things typically happen if you're negative of course more negative things are going to happen typically i'm a guy that thinks a lot and sometimes i tend to overthink things and i would normally bring my mood down so today i'm not gonna let that happen so i'm gonna try to stay as positive as possible no matter what happens today and you guys will see how my day goes so right now let's just get some food because i'm starving I just drove all the way over here and i realized that pluto's is not here uh, because they are closed they completely closed don't know why um cool fact there's a bunch of teslas that's pretty cool they're all white too what is this like a tesla headquarter this is sick it's all white teslas that's insane oh even like a, what the heck what is this place anyways uh let's just go to chipotle now i need something to eat and then we can get to work i don't know i'm starved how many of you guys can't work if you haven't eaten a decent meal that day just out of curiosity is it just me So I just ended up finishing up my meal. Woo! That is amazing. I love Chipotle, especially with some hot sauce. Oh my God, you just can't beat it. Let's head back to the shop. Hopefully somebody's there that can give me a helping hand because I need to lay the, the wrap on the roof. Let's get to that. Dang, guys, now it's on coilovers. A lot lower than it was. Looks really good. Fitment looks super clean. Yeah, I need to start getting some coilovers and stuff like that. You guys know me. My fitments are always garbage. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. But I mean, dang, bro. Austin's awesome. looking fire, dude. All right, guys, so I just got my meal. We are good to go on that. I'm gonna go ahead, start wiping the roof, take off these little side trim pieces, and then uh, remove this guy as well. We're gonna wrap this whole roof black. On my F30, we actually wrapped in this kind of like pearlish black. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it, so we'll see after this. We're gonna wrap this one just gloss black. If it looks good, you might do the same thing to the F32. But without further ado, let's go ahead and mount you guys and uh, start cleaning the roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping and bass, slab on every guys. I'm working on this roof right now. I just saw this kid on a bike literally drop by the shop. 
I was inside for a second and he literally was like riding next to this door right here. I don't know if he was trying to see if anyone was gonna, if anyone was here, he's gonna try to snag something, but that was a little bit trippy. I'm not gonna lie. Look at Devon always reverse parking. Oh my, he doesn't even know how to reverse park. Oh, hell nah. All right, guys, this is where the roof stands right now. It is perfect right here. Here are where all the seals are at. I pretty much tucked it all in so you guys can see that. Looks pretty good. Again, it's really dirty and scratched up. I just have to go over with heat and everything. But if you guys see it, it's all tucked in behind the seals, just super dirty. I'm pretty hyped about that. It's actually the first time I was able to get it between the seals because the seal, the molding wasn't actually like all crispy. This is like pretty new molding, which I'm pretty happy about. So I still gotta wrap these guys and I gotta wrap that uh, antenna thing back there. Meantime, let me just close the sunroof and make sure that none of this stuff is gonna peel here. Oh, so that worked out perfectly. You guys can see all the scratches and now I'll show you guys in the end how all these scratches can go away. You just have to give it some heat and it will go away. Let me just go ahead and wrap these guys, wrap that little uh, antenna piece. We'll get back to you guys on that. All right guys, we just finished these side pieces, the whole entire roof, back and front. The only thing we're missing now is this top piece and then we are good to go. So let's go ahead and wrap that, but guys, check it out. I think that already looks 10 times better. Oh my God. So that's the crazy thing about roof wrap. It makes a car look like a million bucks. Honestly, like that's, some, that's one of my favorite mods to do right off. Like every single car I ever get, I wrap the roof first. Even on a black car, I wrap the roof black. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, and honestly, I just like wrapping the roof black. From over here as well, it just looks super clean. It looks like it has a full panoramic sunroof. I love the design. I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and do the little uh, fishtail shark thingy McBobber, and then uh, they start cleaning up the whole roof so I can show you guys how it looks like. Alright guys, saying goodbye to Austin. He's dipping out. Dang, this thing looks good. Damn, oh, oh, <laughs> yo, oh my god. <laughs> Approved! Alright guys, you can see it's looking pretty dang good. All the scratches are off, which is looking really nice. There is a few uh, dirt specks underneath the wrap. There's nothing I can really do about that. This place isn't really what you would call the cleanest environment. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anywho, so uh, the roof is pretty much done. I'm pretty pleased with it. If you guys come from the front end, it's like the best part, honestly. So I love how the windows trim is black, the roof is black. Girls are black. I love it from right here. Like this angle looks pretty damn good. Can't wait for the rest of the body kit to come in. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a full body kit on this. I'm not really telling you guys what it is just yet. And I'm going to be wrapping the whole car hopefully pretty soon as well. And guys, we're actually at the end of the video. I forgot to record an outro. Um, I didn't have one. But that is fine. I would just like to say for the next video, guys, a bunch of mods are coming in for the 435. So if you guys are stoked for that, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys enjoyed how the wrap came out on the 128, make sure to smash like button. We're going to be doing so many cool things to both these cars. And I'm just super stoked for it. Finally getting some suspension in for the 435. Probably even the 128. So if you guys are stoked for that, smash that like button. And without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.